For hundreds of thousands of workers, the situation's improved. You know, they have more choice uh, when it comes to employers. They have better wages uh, if they've been impacted by the, the minimum wage that was introduced uh, over a year ago. There are more opportunities for workers to raise their voice. But there are many workers who have not yet fully benefited from the reforms. Uh, we still see cases where employers are retaliating against workers who wish to change jobs. We still see cases where workers are, have not been paid their due wages. Uh, we still see cases where domestic workers, for example, are not given the right uh, to a day off per week. So for sure there are still challenges when it comes to, to the full implementation of, of, of the law, but overall we can see that there is very much a positive trajectory. I think these, these reforms were inevitable at some point, and for sure the World Cup has accelerated them. We can see other countries in the region also undertaking reforms, but not Many countries around the world are undertaking them at the same pace as they have here in Qatar. For us, the, the World Cup is not the fin finishing line. Uh, we are committed to working with the government of Qatar and particularly the Minister of Labour uh, to continue on this reform path uh, well beyond the World Cup. The government has asked the ILO formally to establish a permanent presence in the country.